looks so familiar to me. <laughs> yeah, she uh, she looks familiar to a lot of people. What do you mean? A Stanford MBA called Roy Raymond wants to buy his wife some lingerie, but he's too embarrassed to go to a department store. He thinks up the idea of a high-end retailer that doesn't make you feel like a pervert. Takes out a $40,000 bank loan, borrows another 40000 from his in-laws, and he starts Victoria Secret. And does pretty good in its first year, makes him $500,000, opens a catalogue, starts three new stores, and in five years' time, Victoria's Secret's worth $4 million. And Leslie Wexham and the Limited buy it for that. That's a, that's a good story. It's a happy ending, right? Except just two years after that, Victoria's Secret is worth $500 million. And Roy Raymond jumps off the Golden Gate Bridge. I mean, the poor guy just wanted to buy his wife some thigh highs. Was that a parable? Oh, no. Um, my date is a Victoria's Secret model. That's why she looks so familiar to you. God. Don't be impressed by all this, Mark. I read your blog. You, you know, that was... Do you know why I started Napster? When I was in high school, there was a girl that I was in love with. But... She was dating the co-captain of the varsity lacrosse team, so I had to come up with the next big thing so that I could win her. I didn't know that. And Napster wasn't a failure. I mean, I changed the music industry forever and for better. Sure, whatever, it wasn't good business, but I pissed off a lot of people. That's what you were trying to do with your face smash. Mark, they're afraid of me. And pretty soon they're going to be afraid of you too. And that's when the VCs all want to come in and say, look, good job, kid, but, you know, let the adults take it from here. But not this time. This time is our time. You're going to hand them a business card that says, I'm CEO, bitch. That's... What I want for you. Do you ever think about the girl? What girl? The one, the, the girl in high school that was with the lacrosse team. No. 